Billy D with an emergency broadcast out to you Cal Jammers out there. We've got a very special, special friend here, guest, Jeff Hayes. And I'm going to call you Dr. Hayes. I don't know why I keep getting that stuck in my <laughs> I'll head. I'll tell you, I, you know what? I keep waiting for my honorary doctorate. I, I think wanna, I'm going to give you one. And so I would like, I want to do honorary adjustments. And then I want to. I don't know to, about that. I'm, I want to start doing honorary adjustments. And then I want to get in a fight <laughs> with myself over whether it be a straight chiropractor or a mixer. And then have a little civil war. I want to go the whole route. You do? Okay. Yeah. And you understand chiropractic now. I. You, he goes also, you just produced the movie Bot. Yeah. which we're going to talk about, but you had also produced the movie uh, Doctor, which I, I was in for one word. <laughs> but it, it's the word that gets the first reaction from the audience I know. every time. See, if you were to put like, more it, of me in there, probably... I, I, let me tell you... But it, you didn't want to have the eight ball in there too much is probably the way it is. Uh, you know what? There were so many people that weren't in there at all I know. that I'm, I'm, so, glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you were in there. Yeah. All right, so we got a big issue with this vaccine thing, and we just got done with a vaccine workshop here in the office, uh, which I encourage all of you to do. We need to really get on this uh, bandwagon for create a coalition against SB 277, which is in California, which means it's going to come in your state next, whether yeah. you want to believe it or not, and also be coming to your country next. So this is a global initiative, uh, but they're just using California first because California has the highest, in my opinion, has probably the highest literacy rate in I mean, that's not true. But people here are actually into health, and we have really strong uh, objections to vaccines that haven't been proven safe or effective. But you've created this movie, Bot, and why don't you describe to the, our viewers what the thoughts about? Well, it's funny. The Bot is an outgrowth of of Doctored and CalJam. Um, when when I, I did Doctored, I kept hearing from chiropractors that they weren't vaccinated or they, and it was the first I'd ever heard. I, you know, I, chiropractic was new to me. I'm, I've been on blood pressure pills for 30 years. I'd never, ever skip a day. It's like, I joined the orchestra, I play the song. Mm -hmm. And so... You didn't have take, any ED problems, did you, from it? Horrible. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> what well, well, happens? The, uh, I, well, you know, fortunately, that, that, that wasn't one of the, uh, the side effects. Maybe I would have started skipping yeah. days. If, yeah. But, <laughs> but the, the, the thing, never once did anybody say anything to me about this until I started being around chiropractors. And, and Craig Bueller asked me, well, Jeff, don't you know, want to know why your body wants high blood pressure? And I said, well, you know, what are you talking about? I have high blood pressure, I take the pills, the end. He goes, well, no, what if you got blockage to a kidney and your, bo your body's turning up the pressure to force blood through your kidney? Or you know, what? He gave me like three other reasons. Then I was stunned. I was like, nobody, uh, how could I get a prescription year after year uh -huh. for three different pills and nobody say, wonder why this is and so that like there is a cause to your high blood pressure yeah that yeah. like maybe and we, maybe i would want to know what it might be and so this kind of thinking these same people that i'm finding so intelligent are saying um that they have an issue with vaccines so we wrestled with whether to put that into doctored and we realized we couldn't leave it out but we just stuck our toe in the water mm -hmm. and so then when i was promoting doctor i was at cal jam and Jill LaMarche introduced me to Sherry Tenpenny. You had Sherry Tenpenny and Barbara Lowe Fisher in the room. And I had already met Andrew Wakefield. Mm -hmm. and, and Sherry Tenpenny talked about him. And I stood in the back of that room. And I, I, I'm seeing this group of people. And I don't think the chiropractic community knows how much I came to love them. It's like I'm, this, I, this profession is all that stands between us the public and a complete takeover by the drug medical by, tyranny by and, and 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 i'm not talking about by doctors i'm talking about the medical monopoly mm -hmm. so so i'm standing in the back of the room and i i've been wrestling with how much you know we put a, a vaccines in the doctor and i, I gotta do it I, I and I, I said i'll take the lead on this i'll be so pissed off if they leave me twisting in the wind I wouldn't leave you twisting in the and wind. And you, I'm telling you, but I'm looking at these. You're not leaving me twisting in the there, wind either, pal. There's a couple of thousand people in that room, 1,700 people in that room, and they're all one voice. Everybody's bold when you're in the army. Right, it's right. when you're out by yourself. 
The it's, Lone Ranger? The Lone Ranger. This way. <laughs> and you know, we were talking about I, I put a full page ad in the Wall Street Journal last Friday. I that's that says measles epidemic question mark, dear President Obama is the headline of this full page ad and, and so I'm telling well, that you that took some cojones. That that th probably took a little cash and too. cash. This is where and and all of it to announce that we were put, putting bought up for anyway, I, I, I jumped forward ahead in the story. But we from standing in the back of Cal Jam, I committed and we've spent about a year and a half making this film. Mm -hmm. I'm really proud of it. We did a good job. It's a it's a rational and sane and intelligent and moving film about vaccines, GMOs, it's and big pharma. Amazingly well done. I, I, and, and what I don't understand is there's a lot of chiropractors that don't come to Cal Jam, and you've got somebody from the general public that actually takes this message and, and you were just I mean you cannot be at Cal Jam and not be elevated to the next level of thinking and it really just basically changes your DNA to some degree of the way you think and perceive things but I also try to like people say they can't afford to come and th those are the people that need, that need to come the most because if you're not successful in the process because you don't own it here to a point where you're open enough to do what you did to actually tell the story what's so funny is is I as I met a lot of people in the chiropractic profession my first pass through i meet you i meet patrick gen tempo i mean you thought we were all bald probably I, I thought, <laughs> but there was one point in the in the film doctor where we had nobody but bald people in the room where i'm like geez i gotta get put a wig on some yeah, of these me, guys I like wigs. <laughs> but i st i thought that was the I'm, I, you know, I went. Yeah, I know. I, lots of success, and all of a sudden, I started realizing that that, that that's not the case. And I, as I as I go in different not the cases, what that that, that, that everybody's successful, that, that everybody's successful in playing the game at that level. And I see people that, that you know, you got a beautiful practice here, and are making an impact on this whole. Uh, on on your world, on Orange County, right, on right. California. Um, and if everybody globally, I'm telling you, if everybody will start pushing to play the game at that level, we can do this. Yeah, I know. Um, it, they just, you know, and that's what Cal Jam's really a motivation to get people to do that. You know, it's not like I used to be a total introvert, scared of my tail kind of person, and it wasn't until I started just like you. I mean, you probably never wanted to go up against the medical community and the cartel. Oh man, I keep you know. It's, you it, used to be a drug taker. What 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 bugs me about this? People keep going. Wow, you know what you're doing takes a lot of courage. I'm like, man, maybe I'm screwing up. Maybe I should really stop. Oh, this. I hear that all the time too. Um, you know, the 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 reality is, um, you do and I do what we have to do. Right. And it, there's no way. I made the film bought. For my 32-year-old daughter, who has three kids, and, and I've got a bunch of kids, but this this daughter specifically, my daughter Casey, posted on Facebook three years ago, I'm considering changing, I'm not following the vaccine schedule with my son Gavin, and it started a firestorm. And she doesn't want to have the conversation. She mm -hmm. wants to protect her children. Mm -hmm. I want bought to have the conversation mm -hmm. for her. Right. I, I talked to a mother yesterday who's smart, educated, well-to-do, and she's like, yeah, we just keep our mouth shut. Right. Up. That's what you have to do. It's, and so my goal is to have the but conversation. But that's sad, though. It's sad that people of that I mean, level, higher level thinking that can't address people. I mean, it's they almost want their irrational kids, how people act about it. But they, they want their kids to be accepted. Right. And so they don't want their they kids want to be, be accepted too. Stuff. I mean, there, I've heard a lot of people that lose lose friends over the fact that they're not vaccinated. I have a daughter-in-law who will not let my daughter. They can't bring their kids over to birthday parties. They can't associate with her kids. So it's literally divided the family this issue, and and so this film we we worked our guts out. We did a good job. You did a great job. And thank you. And it, it, it and we both put it films on. were very high quality. You know, I mean, you did an amazing job in both the films. And you've got another one coming out too, Undoctored, right? So I'm. I, I don't want to. If get, you live through this one, so it's like so. Undoctored. We're editing right now. We're shooting um, uh, during the month of February, a little bit in, into March, and then I'm doing something spectacular. Wow. I'm, You're going to share that with me and everybody I, I, else? No, and nobody knows this. I've told two people. 
and now you and, and it'll just be between you and, and whoever sees this, but uh, we're doing a regular movie, a narrative film about the Wilt case. That would be awesome. And it's... Um, and for the chiropractors, that don't, don't know what the Wilt case is. Why don't you explain that? Oh, me? my gosh. Well, there's a lot of students that get out of school that don't get any chiropractic history or philosophy. It's the most... Or spe- adjusting skills. So. <laughs> and I've run into some of those. So <laughs> It's the most spectacular story. The, the film is going to be an Aaron Brockovich type film that, that it, starting in the 60s when the AMA formed a committee called the Committee on Quackery. It was originally the Committee on Chiropractic. They changed the name to make it sound worse. The Committee on, on Quackery, whose job was to contain and eliminate the chiropractic mm-hmm. profession. Mm-hmm. But think about this. Through the 60s, there's chiropractors going around going, they felt like they were persecuted, but conspiracy nuts. Like, we know there's something wrong, but we can't prove it. Right. And, and so in 1974, five chiropractors sued the AMA. It took 13 years, but they won in this David and Goliath story. And the AMA was found guilty of conspiring to contain and eliminate the chiropractic mm-hmm. profession. So these guys in the 60s were not you know, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not following you. Right. These guys really were being mm-hmm. attacked. And the proof came out. It's a spectacular human story. We've got an Academy Award winning. Chester Wilkes in it or you'd have somebody. So this is not a documentary. Oh. This is a real movie. We've got cool. an, an, an Academy Award winning writer has agreed to write the script. I'm in meetings in L.A. tomorrow with the producer <sighs> and director. Um do you ever do you ever get concerned though that just because of the movies not in the groove of mainstream that it's going to get shunned by the media? No, this is such a great story. I'm telling you. This is this is um this is a wonderful human story that uh, I think we're going to have a thousand people see this film for every one person who sees doctored the documentary oh wow and i think this will be the most profound and impactful thing anyway that- can i can i ask you one other question yep and I, I this is one of my dreams that there would be something that would go through the original chiropractic history from its inception and how you know just even some of the just how chiropractors went to jail and I mean, just the whole chiropractic history from Dee Dee to BJ. I think it's so, I think it's a magnificent story about a, a a stepchild health profession that's been just ostracized. It's been vilified from its very inception, and it, it's just such a colorful history. And it's not a perfect history. I mean, we have our you know problems in the early days, but. I think it would make a just like an old might, like Western kind of movie. Might be an interesting follow up to this. I'm telling you, this this Wilk case spanning twenty years and telling a story of a little boy whose dad is a chiropractor, which is a true story, who watches you know, if you imagine a kid, the film opening with a kid watching T V with his brother and seeing his dad welcome somebody in the house who comes in is cranky and bent over and walk down the hallway because his dad's office was in the house. And then 15 minutes later, the two brothers see, you know, the guy walk out. He's laughing. They're <laughs> exactly. hugging. And I heard this story from chiropractors over and over. Uh, you know, it's like, why are you a chiropractor? Well, my dad was a chiropractor. Mm-hmm. And my brother and I, we thought our dad was magic. Right. And well, that's going to be great. Dude. This is going to make me cry. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful story. And then you watch those people get thrown in jail, get get drug through the mud right get get accused of, of of being in a cult right and then watch them actually prevail and nobody knows that story anyway that that's coming out and that's um, i can't wait to start working so it'll be on like it. a real movie then rather than a real movie and i'm telling you we've got an academy award winning writer uh that has agreed to write the script um, You're going to use Tom Cruise in it or anything like that? Some big movie stars? We're going to have some really spectacular people in this. Okay. Yeah, so you'll see Academy Award winning actors. Um, and that's literally, this is my morning, tomorrow morning, is meeting with the director on this film uh, who has got a $40 million picture coming out in April when it's just too soon for me to blurt out names, but you'll be... Dude, I'm so excited. This is, this is, this is exciting. 
And it's diversion from what I really, the reason I want, I called you and asked for, you know, would you please uh, help me promote bot? This w bot is, is online. I called you, didn't I? I called you and said, dude, I need an emergency meeting. Um, um, but I, I thought I sent a message to you about what can I do for you at Cal Gym? Oh, that's exactly right. You said, what can I do? And I said, man, I'm so glad. Here's right. Then that, then the reason we're saying bot is going to be online just until March 6th free. And I'm wanting everybody to, you can go to boughtmovie.com, not only to, to, sh you know, to watch it for free, but to share it. We have got to get this out. I it's amazing. A, if you don't, if they, if they don't watch it, they're crazy. And, and, and to get the, the only way we're going to affect this culture is by, with, 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 you know, it's not by ranting and raving. It's with movies. It's right. with, you know, one family at a time and, and we can do this. We spent a lot of time and a lot of money making this film. Putting it out there for free is a huge risk. Yeah, I was going to ask, how do you recoup some of your losses, a especially if you take a full page? I mean, a certain percentage of people who watch the free version mm -hmm. buy a DVD. Okay. And I don't know what that percentage is. Um, you know, it's it's not high, but well, couldn't you? I mean, I mean, even from this video, we could advocate people just contribute by maybe buying ten DVDs. That's what I mean. What I usually do. It's not a lot of money. I mean, it's you know, at this point, we've absorbed. As the a cost. doctor, as a chiropractor, they could at least do that to give back to you. I mean, it's it, like, and then and, and the, if if after they watch the movie, I think after they watch the movie, after anybody watches the movie, you're going to want to share it. So share it for free, and by all means. Uh, buy limitless copies of, of the right, DVD right. and give it out there. Uh, I just had a, had a, a email I just read from uh, Tony Ebel, who was in Doctored. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, he gave away tons of copies of Doctored. And then, you know, it drove a ton of business. And then he just kind of, uh, you know, set it aside. He's down to two copies. And so he gave away a bunch of copies last week. And the feedback he's gotten back on, he's right, like, right. What? I'm, I went crazy. I can't believe I haven't been doing that. I mean, and it's he a no-brainer. And send me 500 more copies of, of Doctor. Right. And, you know, so at this point, I'm the money's going to take care of itself. I want as many people to see bought between now and March 6th for free as we can get done. And that means I've gone to some spectacular. And Natural News has written about it. Mercola has, right, has, right. has posted about it. I was on Underground Wellness, a podcast today. Well, I know this probably video won't go out till whenever, but I'm going to be on Alex Jones. Have you been on his show yet? No, and that's where I... So, Do you want please, me to, I, can I would drop, love for you to... Okay, that'll be on He's in Austin, back. right? Yeah, yeah I'm, going there. I'm leaving tomorrow. I have uh, grandkids in Austin, so I look for excuses okay. to go there. Well, and, it's a good rock and roll town, and you like guitars just like me. I, I, and they got them in How the many airport. guitars do you need? They, what, what's that, what's just your... one more. <laughs> that's it. I love that. I'm going to use that a lot. All right. Let me ask one thing in closing because I know this is long and I, you know, the typical ADHD. The two of us, it's really bad. YouTube, yeah, I've got yeah. bad. In fact, I'd probably be on multi. I'd have some type of Tourette's medication probably too. <laughs> <laughs> but what can we do for you at Cal Jam to help you get more of this out to people? I'm trying to figure out what we can do for you. So I have, no, so number one, last year was the first year that I wasn't in Cal Jam in like three years. Yeah, what happened? The, uh, um, I don't know. I think I was working. I, That's I was an excuse. That, that, that is an excuse. And I'm not a chiropractor. At, at some point, I got to quit going to conventions for somebody else's profession. Right. But I. But you're like, you're, you said you're honorary chiropractor. I, 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 it, you're, you're not going to cop out on that one. The, and I, you know, I, it's, I love being at Cal Gym. And that one was a really. A, a, Wherever I was, I remember feeling like I was missing something that you I were. had. Some of my uh, a lot of friends, then I wasn't there. Right. right. And so, uh, um, we do. We need to brainstorm something. Some well, sort maybe of. Maybe we can do that over dinner tonight because it's about eight. It's only eight fifteen. It's still early. Well, I know that. Uh, we can go eat. I would love to go eat, and I really would love to brain some, brainstorm something at Cal Jam again. That no, was brainstorm the, tonight about Cal Jam. Right, right, and and that was that was the birthplace of this idea. It's only fitting we do something sure spectacular there. All right, brother. I really appreciate you taking time out of your schedule. He was actually here at our vaccine workshop, opened it up, introduced bought at that. Stuck around, listened to me around a little bit, 
and I want all of you to go back to your neighborhoods and you need to get on fire. You need this this world is uh, we need to start standing up. And this movie is a great way, a great tool to get the, the message that we've so many years professed and with our degree of anti vaccination issues, at least for most of us chiropractors that are, in my opinion, believe in a vitalistic philosophy. So get his movie, buy multiple copies to help support him so he can continue to do this for us. And I just want to really thank Jeff Hayes so much for everything that he's done for our chiropractic profession. And yes, you are an honorary chiropractor. Hey. At least perfect. from a Cal Jam. I'll give you a Cal Jam. A diploma. Cal Jam. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And good night, everyone. And good day, whatever it is, where you may be.